Kerwin and I are here. You guys are here. Let's have a party for Patty. A Patty party, Patty party, Patty cake, and Patty party on. <laughs> Congratulations, Patty. I just was reading your little notes in there. This is your third anniversary with Craft Roulette. Well, this is not Craft Roulette. This is in review. I'm Mary of Mary Gun Fun, your hostess for tonight on Craft Roulette's second part in review. So, how are you guys? You're doing pretty well. Yep, Kerwin is right here. I'll send you a picture. I don't have... He was sitting real funny the other... Just a few minutes ago. Kind of like a... Like his dating picture. But anyway, he was... He's a, he's a little cutie. He's his... We've had him four years. So, yeah, Patty, you're just a year behind Kerwin. <laughs> well, welcome anyway. In the front seat, back seat, all the way in between. Go ahead, chew your gum. Eat your snacks, talk, throw glitter, throw paper wads. It's all fine here at Craft Roulette's second part in review. What is in review? Well, it is the second part of Craft Roulette that features you, our card contributors. And what is Craft Roulette, you may ask? Let's me just do this. Now that I'm talking about Craft Roulette. I've got new buttons. <laughs> dangerous but craft roulette is the ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge and we are live almost every friday evening show starts at 6 30 p.m central daylight time and the slideshow which you do not want to miss starts at 6 10 central p.m central daylight time we will be featuring some of the cards tonight on our slideshow in 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 review but you see them all on Fridays, and it's a lovely, wonderful thing. We um, This is episode 158. We haven't had that many in reviews, but they coordinate with Craft Roulette, so that's that. We do have three acts of this show. We have Mail Call, Card Slideshow, and we also have the very popular game, Fast Paced Detective, Card Detective Game, Who Done It? We will tell you more about that as we get farther into the show. Do want to say if you are um, handy bandy with your little buttons, if I got buttons, you got buttons, we all got buttons, go ahead and hit that share button if you don't mind. And that thumbs up, get that thing out of the way if you don't mind, if you think you'd like the show. If not, <laughs> it's fine too. You can, you can do that. It's fine. Doesn't matter. But we are glad to have you here. Yes, yes, Sandy's here, so we can start the show. I uh, do have a little, my warm-up act is a bad dad joke, and I have one from the northern part of Canada. Yes, yes, it's from Cheryl Jackson, who lives to amuse, and she says, she shared this with, <laughs> with us Saturday on the All Patron Call, and she said, what do you call a fish that wears a bow tie? What do you call a fish that wears a bow tie? <laughs> you call him so fish-decated. All right, with that, we're just going to move on. We're going to move on. We do have wonderful um, spin sponsors this month that you, uh, we don't really, you know. Anyway, with our spin sponsors, what they do is they're, they give away their stuff to you who have sent in cards. It doesn't mean that everybody gets one. It just means that you are eligible to get many, many wonderful gifts from our spin sponsors. And we have three this month. One is This Calls for Confetti. Do want to give a shout out to Ronnie and Max Macias. And Lisa Taylor for turning this on for, to this idea. Whimsy Stamps and Paper Crafters Organize Summit with Justine Hobie and Laurel Beard. And like 27 other crafters telling you how to get organized. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff to handle. But we, we are very, very grateful for them to come alongside and give wonderful things away. So I do have a couple. Oh, sorry, Kerwin. Oh, my gosh. It was under his foot. Oh, I just made him jump to high heaven. So I do have a couple things from a little paper pad from Whimsy Stamps. And I made a couple things using some confetti from this calls for confetti. And what are their little dies and bubble little window things. They're so, they're so easy. Oh, they're just so easy. I think they turned out kind of cute. These have little kitties and doggies on them. Thank you. I thought it was, we don't, we just asked that if you are out to do a little bit of shopping, please consider using our spin sponsors. 
when you do and just say thank you from craft roulette um i didn't go to the mailbox i i did something remarkable it really was remarkable <laughs> it was glorious i did something so glorious today it's seven it was 77 degrees i was on the screen porch i was on my teeny tiny little glider that lost a bolt and doesn't glide anymore and i just went horizontal It was sweet. It was the kind of day that you live for in Missouri, where you had that wonderful time where you just lie down and take a nap. Oh, anyway, that was great. So I didn't go to the post office. Plus, it is tax day or week here in um, the United States, and that's an ugly time to go to the post office. So I just didn't go. This was the card I made last week. And we're going to talk about more about these parameters. But I was on a patron call today and I had a whole bunch of little scraps. And I made a little house of the <laughs> little scraps. And I made some little trees and I made a little bushes. And I made some little plants in the window. And then, looky there, I put a sweet little robot from Christina inside his door. <laughs> <laughs> Peekaboo robot is right, Lynn Sanders. This guy doesn't want to stick down. I'm gonna to have to cut him off and set him on, set him straight all by himself. But Christina, I said we were talking about you today on um, our Facebook, or on on our Zoom call, and that was it. <laughs> so anyway, yep, it was definitely a scrap card. Absolutely scraps. I was making little birds, which was from the card crime event. The, we're doing on our patron group i'm doing card crimes that i have committed and correcting them and thank you deputy heidi told me that uh, my probation had been granted for, with my bird card so i'm excited but i've got two more card crimes to bring up anyway that's that let's go over to the slideshow since i don't have anything from the mailbox i haven't broken any buttons yet mr producer and let's go back to episode 158 where we met uh where we had a good time with therese calvert and from australia really enjoyed her and we had some fun we had some fun uh parameters you just never know what mr wonderful mr um bye bye kerwin there he goes one wonderful mr wheel is going to give us but this time he gave us a peekaboo card first grader colors rain and edge distressing so the when we have this little slideshow these are randomly chosen by my by the program i don't have anything to do with it you can see who made it where they're from how many cards they have sent in overall over on the right and then a little description you can see the map of where they live and then a little description pretty pretty fancy isn't it yes i should be wearing shoes i don't i have on actually i have on yesterday's socks so i'm really not dressed up for this kind this this caliber of show and production but you know it's kind of like that's how it goes i saw how to say your name cat and i'm glad for it so joe brown sent in her fourth card and she has a beautiful rainbow color in there. I like that a whole lot. And so you've got the rainbow. So think of how things get mashed up in our in our world here. We've got this one I always yawn. Yesterday's socks and yawning. That's a professional right there. Um, so anyway, but she's got that beautiful rainbow rainbow blending. Oh my goodness, it's so vivid so first grade they would love to have that wouldn't they that would that would be the one that they would like in the room most and then she put the raindrops very smart way to do it she did some edge distressing i think that's like it's a stamp that looks like it's ripped backwards that's kind of cool i've never seen anything quite like that but i think it's a stamp and then she's got beautiful little um, butterflies flying around peeking and they are peeking out of the distressed edge hole you know you could do that you could do something like that where you rip it apart um rip it out and then do some edging on that and make it look curled 
Let me think about that one. Yeah, that's kind of a cool look. And then it says, today is a perfect day to be happy. Sounds good. And she made it an easel card from last week, too. Well, Joe Brown, I think you just did a beautiful job of that. I like how you have, and she used a shape for her focal point, that little diamond. I don't know what, what that is, what that shape is called, but I like it. And uh, so that's spiffed it up. She's got a lot of beautiful white space. Great for the eye to go, yeah, I know what to look at. And um, it's just all together very, very pretty. Somebody's going to be very, very happy to get that beautiful card. Mm. And to be happy. Just a nice reminder. That's right. Kiss your brown. Kiss your brain, Joe Brown. Oh, Cordelia Alderman. I missed you Saturday, Cordelia. She has sent in 78 cards and this her peekaboo card has glittery raindrops you red yellow and blue umbrellas don't you love an umbrella card i just think they're so so pretty and glittery rain umbrellas and boots i of course will be very tired of them by the end of may but i like them a whole lot right now it's kind of like christmas trees i really like them in november and december and then january i'm kind of done um but She's got glittery rainbows inside the cutout. I see them. That's a good, you did a good job, Cordelia, of showing both parts of your card. That's kind of tricky sometimes. And you distress the ed, the panel edge. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Um, there's several ways that you can do that kind of distressing. One is, um, I'll just give you my favorite tip, is using a scissors, but don't make it too terribly <laughs> sharp because it will cut into your paper. And then I do like to have something to have it well, like a book or something and have the paper just barely hanging over the edge and edge distress it with this kind of dull scissors. Otherwise, they, otherwise, if you're holding it, it's really hard to do, I think, and it tend, I tend to cut. I must be really aggressive but it tends to cut into my paper so that's just how I like to do it but you there's also edge distressors um there's other ways too but that was a that's a really looks like you did a very good job and um you can do it with your fingernail heck if you want to you don't have to worry about the scissors at all and that's probably safer <laughs> so pretty Cordelia you're always a lot of fun you always make some fun cards love them 78 of them now, huh? Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> that's nice. Laureen H. from Los Altos, California has made five and she's bringing the rainbow. Gotta love the rainbow when you get rain for a parameter. Great segue into a rainbow. And rainbows, even though, remember, was it two years ago? It seemed like there was rainbows on everything. There were rainbows on dolphins and rainbows on everything and so now there are not quite as many i don't think but they're still very very pretty and always a promise a promising kind of image uh you had a peekaboo you have clouds peeking from behind the rainbow i see them um and it is a rainbow okay first grader uh, imperfect rainbow you brought in that first grader color aspect into your element which, or your technique which made it imperfect which is totally cool it's not it's kind of like double dipping or getting two parameters out of one i like that though because you get your brain gets okay it gets first grader and rain and they start meshing together and um, then you end up with a card that has even more meaning and more um, direction i think that's very cool you distress the edge around the rainbow which really was a smart idea with that dark um, outline to bring it up off that that paper with all the little plus and my plus signs. Now, if you had little minus signs in there, you would have um, opportunity for some lightning to strike with those little uh, electrons lining up like that. Anyway, science. Sending si <laughs> science, science, science. So science the other day let me um, led me astray. I looked at the radar, I looked at the forecast, it said it was a 38% chance of rain. Man, we had a, th my daughter, however, was going, nah, it's going to rain. It's really bad. It's really dark. I was going, no, it's not going to rain. Radar says it's not. Everything says it's not. Well, 
science let me down that time let me tell you we had a huge storm <laughs> they had the positive and the negative ions going on and is it ions or electrons whatever and uh we had we had some good action so laureen thank you so much that was a good card paula r from indiana has sent in 35 there's where indiana is on that map she has torn edge from the yellow layer i see it i see it you chose rain in the in the sentiment another great way to use uh, incorporate the element you have a chameleon <laughs> under a peekaboo flap. I wonder if he likes it under there. Like a big leaf, I suppose. And um, a first grader watercolored image. I think the watercolor is a great way to, to kind of mesh with the element too. The first grader and uh, rain because then you kind of go, oh, well, now I can make my first grader art project and it doesn't have to be... Uh, I, I've got the feeling of not having to be perfect, and I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, I'm a recovering perfectionist. Um, then you've got all those little rainbows in your paper, which is really fun, double fun. I like your little chameleon a lot hanging out on that, hanging out on that um, rainbow. He's reaching for the stars. What a, what a gold-driven chameleon. Never, nothing like a gold-driven chameleon. It's good. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, the leading ladies. Oh, yes. Don't want to miss them a week. Once you're there, you got to stick with it. But Paula R., nicely done. We're so glad to have you. You're a nice lady, too. Oh, Brenda Gentry. I spent some time with Brenda Gentry today. And look at this. She's, she's a wonderful card maker she has now sent in 98 brenda brenda and she's got a kitty peeking out from behind the elephant <laughs> he's so cute he's not Kerwin. he's a little a little um ginger kitty cat first grade bright colors perfectly made incorporated you've got raining it's raining flowers hallelujah <laughs> it is such a cute elephant, isn't it? The distressed edge is the focal point. That's really distressed. I wonder how she did that. That it almost looks like it could be um, like a really thick paper. If you have a thinner paper, it doesn't distress as much. I think it's a little harder. <laughs> but if it's a thicker paper, even like a cottony paper, a paper that has cotton in it and things like that then you can get that really strong distressed tooth in there and it looks good she always does a beautiful job she always has somebody in mind too to send her cards so that looks like she's got her jayhawk ku jayhawk umbrella going on there i love it rain and flowers beautiful job brenda couldn't tell you didn't feel well well done so Christina says the skewedest elephant. If you are new to craft roulette and in review, we do have our own vocabulary. <laughs> and Christina messaged me today and she said that she left a message for somebody, I believe. And she said it's something with skewed. Well, skewed is our hybrid word for so cute. And <laughs> she said, I wondered what he thought when I said it was skewed. And I think she spelled fun with two N's too. <laughs> And I said, and she's from Sweden, so I said, well, he probably thought it was sweet, a Swedish word. <laughs> so, or I don't know. I don't know, but I love that you use it. I did write to her once upon a time and say, you know, Christina, scoot and mask and fun really, really aren't words. <laughs> Even though I have submitted them to the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Laura Ellis from England has sent in 76 cards. I that's amazing, Laura. I remember when you were brand I just remember when you were brand new. It seems like yesterday. You can't make a rainbow. And then she's got a little woo, explosion kind of thing. I can't see it too beautifully well, but she's got an explosion kind of thing with a little sentiment inside. I'm gonna have to take a better look at that on the website. By the way, if you do want to see all these beautiful cards, you can go to craftroulette.live and go to the current episode 158 and see the galleries and see them all. They're fantastic. Um, 
And then you've got some uh, old dancing. It looks like a, oh my goodness. Is that like an explosion card on an easel card? That is super fancy. And look at that rain coming down from the clouds. That's a cool die. I think it's a die. Let's see, peekaboo card, explosion surprise. Okay, we'll read the directions, Mary. Um, okay, so it is an explosion. First grade colors, which could be anything if you were a first grader, kind of. You know, sometimes I was thinking maybe, you know, if you were a first grader, you may not have used colors that looked good together either. We didn't get any of that. But you could if you were a first grader. You may not really have maybe a little bit independent and a little bit on your own there. Um, rain, let's see, rain pattern paper and rainbow distressed edge. Oh, that, yeah, and then you've got the rainbow colors there. That's really well thought out, Laura. Um, but you know, I love looking at rain clouds and just seeing it off in the distance and seeing the rain right underneath it. And that kind of reminds me of that. Laura is a fairly new mama too. So when she gets a moment to craft, I bet it's special. Thank you, Laura. Sylvia Torres from North Carolina, USA. Her lucky number seven. <laughs> well done. She's got a peekaboo hole. She's sending the, oh yes, I remember this. I remember this on our Facebook group, which if you want to be in our Facebook group, you are very welcome to join us. Look up Facebook. Oh, no, no, no. Look up Craft Roulette Show on Facebook. It is a private group. There's a couple simple questions. A answer them and you will be automatically included and forget them and you'll try it, get another time to try. So she sent this and it's on the inside. It's just bright and beautiful and happy and colorful and cheerful. But she's got the stormy skies on the outside with the distressed oxides, it says, and the mowed yacht lawn with, and green grass edges with sickle or a uh, Oh man, those are some fancy scissors. And then fancy scissor dis or uh, scissor distressed. I'm having a little distress reading that. But that was a really cool card. And, and I remember a lot of people were commenting on it and saying that would really cheer somebody up. And uh, yeah, we all have those those dark days, right? And let that sun peeks through, let it, and then open up to it and have a good time. I like it very much, Sylvia. Well thought out. See, Sheila Eigenberger. Oh, yes, this was, I think this was like, um, what, what, uh, my first grader masterpiece complete with raindrops, distressed edge, and a peekaboo flap. You went ahead and went full first grader. <laughs> Embrace that inner first grader in you. Um, you got your peekaboo card though. Wouldn't a first grader be proud of that? Peekaboo. You know, that that's a fun kind of thing to think of when you're writing sending a card to a kid. Um, you've got you've even got your B backwards. <laughs> that's pretty darn smart. And it's so cute. You got your crayons out and had some fun. I bet you enjoyed making this. I hope so. I think it's just great fun. I like it very much. And you got raindrops and you've all got you've got them all coming from one direction. That's a great idea. You got your all the things you need for rain. <laughs> very fun. You know, we're just craft roulette cards. You just never know what they're going what's going to be sparked. And uh I think that's what we like, right? We love those creative little sparks where you go, "Hey, I can do this. Hey, I can do this." I like it very much. Thank you, Sheila. Deanna Roqueford has sent in 87. I know you've been around quite a while. But you're just getting gooder and gooder. That's not good English either. Christina, we say better and better, but I <laughs> don't say that on somebody's message. But she's got a peekaboo rainbow in primary colors. Very bright and pretty with distressed edged rain card. Look at the rain coming down from those clouds. I like those clouds. They're nice and big and puffy, and they've got some paper, some paper makeup on them, sometimes known as ink. And uh, you've got a pretty little bl ink blended sky. And what a great way to have some blotchy inking. If you don't love your bl your ink blending, sometimes you know, choose your choose your uh, setting. So a sky is a great place to have some blotchiness. I. 
it's uh especially in a stormy-ish sky yep i love these clouds too um and the shiny the shiny drops raindrops nice touch uh when it rains look for rainbows great idea and i like how you carried that cloud inside too that made it pulled it together and then you've got a little bit of rainbow on the outside so that's really a great idea too something i miss a lot just because i've already thought of 20 other things before i get into this inside of the card and have a little trouble with that sometimes so my insides don't match my outsides <laughs> hope that doesn't speak about my in my gut and move on let's talk cards oh well there's patty back patty back well, number 153. <laughs> she is our leading leading lady. She has sent in 153 cards and um she's been in first place since forever since we started for first place. Um she did a torn edge vellum strip cover over the gnomes to have their hats peek out. That's a cute idea. And her first grade color, she should know because she taught those little kids in first and kindergarten in first, I think, something like that. And you have the rain coming. It's raining from the watering can, but they don't seem to like it. Do gnomes melt in the rain in water like the West? Wicked witch from the West? Uh, because they sure look like they don't want to get wet from the watering can. Is it serious? We can make up stories because we we are in that position. But great idea, Patty. You have so many cards. If you go to contributor showcase, I think it's what it is, under associates, you can see all sorts of galleries that our patrons have made. And some of them are of their own cards. And I'm not sure if you're up to date on that or not. Patty, but um, you know, you as a patron, you can keep adding and adding and adding. So uh, I hope you are, but I think that's really cute. You've done a, a lot of good stuff. Plus, she's just a great, a great glitter fairy, and she's an all-around good gal. Thank you, Patty. Congratulations on your third anniversary. Christy Lynn from Missouri, USA, has sent in this pretty card. Look at that big bow. Uh, it, you know, I knew a first grader that had bows <laughs> and she was very prissy and she had, I, her mom had made all her bows. She had over 300 bows. I don't know how, who's counting those. I don't know, but she had a lot of bows. Her peekaboo. What's we got, got, what's we got going on here? Rain under the window, peekaboo window with the sun and clouds. First grade colors in distressed corner. Oh, you just took off a little corner. Well, now that's an idea too, because you don't have to make every L, every parameter like the big a big thing. You can just kind of squeak it in there, fancy fancy. And but what a big old bow that is! It's gorgeous. It's beautiful color. I like it very much, Christy Lynn. And thanks for brightening up my day. Hello, sunshine. It's very sweet, very pretty. I like. And I like that big yellow and orange in the center, like a sun peeking out from those vellum clouds. That's really well thought out. You did a lot of thinking on that. And then you've got the raindrops on the outside of that. Very clever. I love these, you know, on also, if you can only look at them on a phone, it's hard sometimes because you don't see all the nuance. And all the details, like that little corner and all the little things. But if you can get them on a bigger screen, you really do get to see a lot of really great ideas. There's no way to catalog all these ideas. There's that many. But um, if you are ever in, have lost your mojo, and I don't know how that, but if you've ever lost your mojo, you are always welcome to go visit a gallery, check out the, uh, check out the parameters and try it. I'm having fun doing my card crimes, doing, <laughs> doing old parameters. We also have a uh, random param a random retro, no, 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 a retro bonus card for our patrons. It's post every Monday and you're welcome to do that also just for fun. And there is a place that you can add that to the episode. 
Lots going on. Lots. So how about one more? We already saw Sylvia's. We like it so much. We want to see it again. Pam K from Wisconsin. Oh, yes, this one. Number her number seven. She has a peekaboo umbrella. Don't you like that idea? Um, and it reveals the message. Hello, sunshine. Primary first great first color. She used primary red, blue, yellow, and glistening raindrops with some ink distressed deckled edge scissors. Remember those? I still have some. I still have some. They don't work very well anymore. They kind of you close them and they kind of keep going or something or the handles keep going. I don't know what it is, but that turned out real cute. Very cheery. You've definitely got a feel of, um, of rain and sunshine. That's cool that you can do both. You got a little ladybug in there. Those happy little daisies. I haven't seen my daisies yet. I'm talking to them. I'm talking to the garden when I go out there. Where are you guys? It's a little early. And, um, you even have a little daisy coming out of your boot. <laughs> super cute but i like your little design um that's what i was gonna do I, anyway i don't have that one that one's what i was gonna do like that i'll put that down there so anyway well done i know rain boots are so cute but man don't th are they hot they're just hot so we 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 don't wear them very often but i do like them on a card it's one of those things that i love on cards don't love on me there's a lot of those kind of things. <laughs> Snow. Yeah. All those things. So let's see if I can get myself back. I did it. I did it. So this is the time of day. What are we get what are we calling for? What what are we doing to do next on Act Three? Mm-hmm. This is true. The um, bonus cards do not count for um, your current numbers. There it is. Paula Rice has it. Act three is who done it. Dun, dun, dun. Now watch this. Happy birthday, Marianne Hill. And thank you for this wonderful idea. I'm not going to break it, Stephen. I'm not. Oh, there we go. There we go. The who done it game rules. Woo hoo hoo. If you've never been around here, we do have this fast-paced, highly stressful. No, it's not. Um, mm, 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 mm. Detective card game, and we call it Who Done Who Done It. This is our third act. The object of the game. See if I can read. Be the first card detective to correctly solve the mystery of who done it and provide the clue that broke the case wide open. Remember, we changed that. We've added that little that little part to it. The details are: I will be making a card based on a card from the most recent episode's gallery. My project will be inspired by the selected card, but it will not be a perfect copy. There will be clues in my project, but it won't be as easy as finding one match because sometimes they're quite hidden. I can't get a Sherlock hat. To play the game, you must be present during the live stream to participate. Sorry, replay crew. You need to have the correct gallery on craftroulette.live open to look at for clues while still be having a browser open with this show on as well. To solve the, when you want to solve the mystery, <laughs> Patty Bag's ready, type at craft, ru, craft space roulette and it will come up red, orange, team orange on my side so I'll know that it's a official, it's an official entry in the chat. Okay, and then you follow it by the name of the person that you think I am cop, the person who I am copying their card and here's the new part. You need to give a, your clue. You need to tell us what your clue is that is making you go, that is her card. So, for instance, what did we have? Um, Sylvia's card. Say, you say Sylvia Torres, and then you can say my clue was, or you can just say the clue, you don't have to say my clue was was the circle with the lighter colors in the back, the happier colors in back, or the cutout at the top right, or something. To, you don't write a paragraph, 
but um, just something brief on that made you go, that's it, that's it. We're, we figured it out. So two, that's what we do. Did I make it worse? I hope not. But to be a winner, it will be the first person who guesses correctly with the, cor the, with the clue. It doesn't have to be a correct clue, it's up to you. Um, you win something big you know with postal prices going up this is getting more and more valuable every single day it is the og it is our original giveaway a handmade card with an itty bitty gift yes ma'am yes sir and when we'll go through that who is going to be the head detective tonight is everybody ready huh, huh, huh. i think this is what we do next Oh yes, this is what I, this is not it. This is what I was going to show you. This is how I, this is what I envisioned originally on Friday, but it's not what we're doing tonight. Okay, we're getting some readies. That's good. That helps. Yes, the OG, the original gift. Oh, I even had, oh, I wrote down my instructions so I know what to do next. So let me find it so I don't blow it. Blow it. Don't want to blow it. Okay. Got my little package of goodies. There's some. There's a clue. <laughs> it's a bad one. There's one. Not much of one either. So I got this cute little. You like my te cloud template? Doesn't look like much, does it? But it sure works great. Do I have enough room to put it here? Yeah. Sure. So I made this cloud template just out of one inch circles. Yep. So the first thing I'm going to do. Right. You can't just say the names. And you only have 208 cards to go through. I can't believe you haven't gotten it yet. Okay. So when you're doing stuff like this, you can... Just do it on the back of the paper. And since these are pretty abstract, you don't have to worry about being ab super, super precise. Oops. <laughs> it's not your card, so you only have 207 to go. That is such a great thing to be able to do. You don't have a cloud. Now mine's not going to be exact. It's going to be. So you just never know. Lauren's Mr. Producer played hockey for 10 years. Abby's learning how to ice skate, Mr. Producer. So she can play hockey. I'll give you all the tips on being a hockey mom. <laughs> Tip number one. I'm going to put some paper makeup on it. Remember my card may or may not be much like the original. Where did my brush go? Did that cat take it or did I put it away? put it away I think but I don't know this might have been the another one these were Kerwin's baby when he was a baby these were his favorite craft toys he used to take them away could it be Kathy S boy we're getting right at it cat no not this time I gotta remember who it was okay I wrote it down uh, uh. The wedge building. <laughs> I don't, they have to wear mouth guards. So they don't lose teeth, I don't think, anymore. <laughs> Mia McGee with multiple clouds. That's a really good... I, I like this, Stephen. I like the um, clues. That's a good idea. No, nope. <laughs> but it's wrong. <laughs> but it's a good idea. Okay, I've got my clouds ready. I'm 
Let's see, I'm going to make it. I think this is going to be a bit of a sun. Will my card be exactly like another, like the inspiration, or will I have quite a few little diversions? Huh. Well, believe it or not, we have a winner in our midst. This is a new little thing, too, so you don't need to keep guessing because we now have a winner. Someone has guessed correctly. <laughs> the first, here, watch this. This is cool. So we have a winner. And who is that winner? Who is the winner? The big reveal is Larissa Woolley. And who was the winner? Quick Draw herself. <laughs> it's Quick Draw Johnson, sometimes known as Lou Ann. She is so good at this. <laughs> Remarkable. So this was my card. Congratulations, Quick Draw. So what gave it away for you were was not just clouds, but two clouds. So if I had put three clouds, you wouldn't have gotten it, right? Is that right? You are the detective of, you're detective number 158. Um, ba -dum -bum. My gosh, how many times have you won this? <laughs> She's also the one that you will see with the cards that drop in at the very, you are just, you're just fast. The cards that drop in um, first, too, on Friday night. She always has her card in before the doggone show's over. <laughs> so, oh, thanks. Yep, the sun confirmed it. Yep. Well, there were so many suns on all sorts of cards. So I don't have a book, so I'm going to do it this way. This is really thick paper. And so I also thought, well, I'll use darker darker paper so that quick draw Johnson won't get it right off but it didn't work <laughs> amazing well done kiss your brain that's good so but look through the gallery and see how many people had car of clouds and sun it was just so many and her son, as you can see, has it was all one big die. I didn't have a die like that. So I just made little sun rays. And uh I thought that worked I thought it worked out pretty well. You've only won twice? Oh, it seems like you maybe it's just I don't know. You're just so fast. <laughs> did you have did you drink coffee? Do we need to interview you on your speed skills? Are you an Evelyn Wood speed reader too? That's good though. Congratulations. That's nice. So, yep, I just made the little star. I thought that kind of turned out kind of cute, actually. And then this little guy, I'm just going to put some, I'll just finish it off. Now it's easy. Put some craft foam underneath him. But I'm going to slide my little girl up in there, so I'm just putting it at the top. Were you, somebody else guessed, Larissa. But, yep, Connie Long did. And 5K. But that quick draw, she's hard to beat. I don't want to play hot hands with her. Do you remember hot hands? When you have your hands like this and somebody else has them on top and they slap, or you have your hands on top and they try to slap your hands. It's just a vicious game. But my uncle was so good at it. I kept thinking it wasn't going to hurt. He wasn't going to do it again, but he did it every time. Smacked me. Learned very well. Hands are still red. I should find some kind of hot hands card for his birthday card this year. 
<laughs> oh, well, that's good. Did you like, um, yeah, and that's a great graphic. And so to look, I'm going to have to color her to slide her in. So that's not going to be very exciting to watch. But I will, which one would you like? Would you like the lighter color, the OG, or the darker color? Detective Johnson. Detective Quick Draw. <laughs> oh, you've gotten lots of birthday cards. Oh, that's fun, Linda. Oh, your birthday's on my daughter's. How nice. Very nice. Okay, so what are our what are our differences? Well, I thought they're very similar. I, uh, but there were so many cards that had suns and and clouds. I thought, well, I'll be pretty safe here, and some kind of critter. A lot of people had critters. Okay, I'll pick for you. A lot of people had critters, so I knew critters would give it away. Uh, but and I already had her out from last week, so I thought, oh, I'll just use her. But it's very similar. The sun is the peaking part. Um, I use the same idea. First grade colors, you know, uh, I think first grade colors, now, now we've changed our color parameter and um, is still, however, like first graders, you think usually of pretty bright, intense colors. So even though it's wide open on which colors you use, I think it still gives you a little flavor to choose from and to help you um, help you focus. And it's fun to see people move that color and the element together and mash them up. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think both of our car. I think her card had, was more like a first grader with good taste. <laughs> However, that was my. I had a color a dress that was that color blue in Larissa's in second grade. So. That was my favorite dress, that color. Um, mine, I, I chose something a little darker and a little bit more dramatic just for, I had I only had one piece of this, only had one piece of that. Um, she had rain, let's see, it says rain is like confetti from the sky. And what I was going to do, and still will, is I had a confetti stamp. And so, let's see if this works on that paper. This might not be dark enough. Um, so I was going to stamp my confetti, my confetti stamp. That's too green. I know which one I want, I think. Let's see. Boy, it's out of place. Let's go this way. So I was going, instead, because I didn't have the sentiment, so I was just going to stamp confetti coming from the sky. Here we want this. Here we go. And that was going to be my confetti. And she hit in the verse, and then um, she stamped it right on the card, and I was—I just took the a sentiment and broke it up put it in basically the same place but I broke it up and put it on both sides as you can see I did stamp this confetti stamp which is from this little guy from Trinity see there it is and I did it in clear embossing so you can see it but it's pretty subtle yeah yeah that's the ticket <laughs> so that's the card and those were the differences, but I think, and I tried to use the same colors she used. And uh, instead, I didn't have a yellow rain coat, so I used a yellow dress, yellow boots. Um, I did use a silver pen for my handle, which I don't think you see hers, but I think it turned out okay. I think it's, a, Larissa did a cute little card, and I think this works too. <laughs> so very nice. Man, it's hard to make this game last. <laughs> it's so, you're, you're so fast. But it's great. I like it. I still like it. It's fine. Well, that's, what else do we have? My buttons. What are my buttons? I think it's time for, yeah, the patron. Thank you. We do want to thank our patron. So, and we have got a whole bunch of new ones lately. So, um. I hope you 
are enjoying all the stuff that I send you a message in the Patreon messenger and to each of you and give you instructions or help on how to find all the different things that you have just unlocked by being a patron. So um, hopefully that is helpful for you. Do not hesitate to ask questions. We're happy to help you and tell you how things work. It's uh, There's a lot there. So because it's even split into the Patreon blog and then it also has uh, places on our website. So I know, boy, I don't even, um, the card exchange is big. It has got a lot of people, had a lot of fun on Saturday with our all patron call. We got a lot of inside information from Amanda Stevens, Linda Gorman, and uh, Jen Gross on Creativation and all the products that they got to see there. Um, what else did we, we talked about some upcoming guests and how fun that's going to be. I'm not telling the public ever yet, but uh, look, I will post it in our Patreon group real soon, maybe tonight, <laughs> so I don't forget. We are having fun with card crimes, too, if you're interested in learning more about what makes a card just criminal. <laughs> and they're my cards. We're not picking on anybody else. We're just talking about my cards and why they were bad. <laughs> they're criminal and correcting them and seeing if I can get probation, if not completely released from bondage. Um, thank you. Thank you, each and every one of you. We appreciate you so much. Um, it, you're making a big difference in our lives. Do want to say also to join us, please, Friday at 610 for the slideshow, 630 for the exciting Joe. Um, we are going to get to the treat of having Ardeth Percy Rob on again. Uh, she's solid. She's just a solid crafter. Uh, she is one of my absolute favorite teachers on the internet. Um, she takes, she is methodical. She thinks things through. She as the guy on the, as one of the moderate MCs of a disc golf tournament that we watched yesterday said, you're not paying me enough to lie to, to you're not paying me enough to lie to you. And that's kind of how Ardeth is. She's just like, no, nah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just telling, telling you the truth, what this is about. So do follow her on our, on her social medias. You will not regret it. And we get to hang out with her Friday. Join us. It's a lot of fun. Next Tuesday, we will have the in review acts one through and three. Um, including a new whodunit. Man, I'm going to have to work on this. I got to take a course on how to, how to trick people. <laughs> That's, it's not in my nature, but we'll just have fun anyway. So kiss those brains. I'm listening. I want to hear it. Yeah, you go. Y'all kiss your brains. We will see you Friday. See you next Tuesday. Stay safe. Be careful. Have a wonderful couple days as we close out the week. Share with a friend. Give us a thumbs up. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Bye-bye.